Hi and welcome to a new video. You just got your new AirPods and don't know how to set them up? In this video, I'll show you how to get your AirPods from the first generation to the third generation and the AirPods Pro connected to your iPhone. I will also show you how to customize the settings to however you like it. Let's go! Connecting your new AirPods to your iPhone is pretty easy. Apple recommends that you should have installed the latest version of iOS on your iPhone. To check your software version, go to Settings. Then tap on General. And then on Software Update. It will show if your iOS version is up to date. First, make sure that you have Bluetooth enabled on your iPhone. Just swipe down from the top right corner and tap the Bluetooth icon to turn it on. Now open the lid of the AirPods case. A prompt should appear on your iPhone. Tap Connect. If you are using the first and second generation of AirPods, click on Done. If you are using AirPods Pro or AirPods third generation, you can set it up so that Siri will announce notifications from any application. But you can also turn this feature off or on later. I'll skip this step for now. Now your AirPods are connected to your iPhone and you can see the battery percentage of your AirPods and the charging case. Tap X to exit the prompt. You can now take the AirPods out of the case and listen to your favorite music. If you want to customize your AirPods settings, go to Settings. Then tap on Bluetooth. And then press the I icon next to AirPods. Here you can change the settings of your AirPods. These settings differ from AirPod to AirPod models. I am using AirPods third generation. If you want to change the name of your AirPods, tap on Name and input your desired name. Then click Done on your keyboard and tap Back. You can enable the automatic ear detection so that your AirPods will know if you are wearing them. It will also pause the playback automatically when you remove an AirPod from your ear or stop it completely when you remove both. The spatial audio is an option you can choose that is supported for some audio and video if you want to have dynamic head tracking sounds. If you're watching a video, the sound will seem like it's coming from all around you. You should activate the following options. Optimized battery charging and find my network. At the bottom, you can find more information about your AirPods. Remember that once you connect your AirPods to your iPhone, all the devices on your iCloud with the same Apple ID will register the AirPods to them, so you don't have to manually connect them again. When your AirPods have a problem connecting to the right device, just go to Bluetooth and tap on your AirPods once. You can also take advantage of using your AirPods to talk to Siri if it is activated. If you're using AirPods first generation, double tap either of your AirPods, wait for a chime, then you can talk to Siri. For AirPods second generation and higher, you can just say, Hey Siri, followed up by what you want to say. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!